Hail to the kings of the AFC South. The Jacksonville Jaguars are AFC South champions for the second time in franchise history, and they do so after beating the hated Tennessee Titans 20-16 in a game that felt a little scary at times. The bank was rocking. The Jaguars never lost face. They kept fighting, and they ultimately did come out with the win. Trevor didn't have his best game, unfortunately. ETN did struggle. They could go into the offensive line at times, struggle to do their part throughout various portions of the game. But 16-13 to was the score before a Josh Allen scoop and score forced by Rayshon Jenkins, which led to the game-winning touchdown. But hey, we got the negatives out of the way. We talked about the negatives. Let's hand out some awards, shall we? Offensive player of the game. Before we get going, drop your offensive player of the game. You know, it wasn't a great showing for the offense, but still, I'd love to hear your take on the matter. Christian Kirk is my player of the game for the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, six receptions on seven targets, one yard short of a 100 yard game, and then the offensive touchdown. That was the only offensive touchdown from the Jacksonville Jaguars. He had a very, very good night overall. You know, ultimately did have the uh, kind of the bobble pass. It was broken up, we could say, in the end zone, unfortunately, but still. It was a beautiful capstone to what was a career year for Christian Kirk in the teal and black. You know, the expectations are going to be incredibly, incredibly high for 2023 with what he has done here in 2022. He he eclipsed a 1,000-yard mark, eight touchdowns, a bunch of receptions. It was a very, very, very good year. And this is exactly what we basically saw from Christian Kirk all season long, was just a good, reliable number one target for Trevor Lawrence. Hey, Calvin Ridley next year. Let's not jump ahead, though. I do want to have an honorable mention for Walker Little. Not just the performance he had in Week 18 versus the Titans, but the way he finished the season when Cam Robinson went down, he fills in. He had a very, very good job as the backup tackle. And, you know, it's going to make for an interesting conversation when it comes to the overall tackle position, both left and right, about what happens. Because you have three good tackles on this team. One of them's due for a contract. One of them's a second-round pick that's chomping at the bit to get onto the field more. What happens there? It's going to be a great conversation as the season um, finishes unraveling. We get through the Super Bowl, and, you know, we really look to free agency. But I do want to talk about one more little thing that I did not enjoy about this game the fourth quarter for this Jaguars offense. The Jaguars ran eight plays in the fourth quarter. They had a whole negative one yard in the fourth quarter. You know, that was a very, very bad sign from the Jaguars offense, and this defense bailed out this Jaguars offense. But back to the positive. We're going to stay positive for the rest of the video. Logan Cook, four punts. Four punts landing inside the 20-yard line with a net punt average of over 50 yards, 50 and a half yards average punt for Logan Cook. It was an incredible, incredible day for Logan Cook. When the offense was letting down the team for them, you can say, I mean, to be blunt, to then Logan Cook absolutely putting them right back in the north side of the end zone, just letting that stadium go crazy, letting that north end zone do the north end zone thing, getting loud. That brings me to the guys that did finish this game off. The defense that brought it all game long. Kept Derrick Henry under wraps for the most part. He did have a couple good 9-10 yard rushes, but overall, Trayvon Walker was a force run stuff, and he also had three pressures. Tyson Campbell allowed only one catch for nine yards, along with a good interception. He was able to read the ball beautifully, which has been an incredible development for him. Chad Muma, he had the bad missed tackle late in the fourth quarter, but still, outside of that play, played very, very well. Now, Two guys I probably haven't mentioned that you're looking for, and it's for the defensive player of the game. Does it go to the guy who forced the fumble or the guy who recovered it? I'm going with the guy who forced it. Rayshon Jenkins is my Week 18 defensive player of the game. He had a nasty second half of the season. You talk about the Dallas game with the game-winning walk-off interception for a touchdown in overtime. Great play there. And then this one, absolutely making big plays in big moments. Rayshon Jenkins forces the Josh Dobbs fumble. Josh Allen scoops it up. Josh Allen runs it back the 30-some-odd yards into the end zone for the game-winning score. The Jaguars had the bank rock, and it was a beautiful, beautiful night in Duval County. It's going to be another beautiful night this Saturday against the Chargers. So I leave you with this. Stay safe and go Jaguars. How about them Jags? Come on, Joe! Ah! Thank you, baby! Thank you! You make it blood come from my damn mouth!